Hello, I'm Steve, it is news time, and we have so many games coming soon. We have Carmack talking about meta on VR once again, but also a huge update for PC VR that could make the Pro headset an actual viable option. Now I think that is enough chin wagging. Let's get started. So the first game is Crime and Mercenary Tales, and I had to try so hard not to say Crimean, which is an Eastern European place, but, but anyway. This new VR release from Carbon Studio, the folks that created The Wizard, a pretty decent single player experience, which also has a sequel, so check that out. They've created this arcade hack and slash that is releasing in May for the Quest 2. It features an art style that is actually a little different than I usually see in the cell shaded department when people are going for comic styles. But this has a 3D comic style, so it's a bit like the Street Fighter game that I showed on the channel recently, and I, I think I like it. You'll engage in combat using historically accurate weaponry. That was my headset. Enjoying eight adventures filled with humor, puzzles, and gore dropping in May. There is also another title coming on the 20th of April, so I think that's only, that's next week. Tennis League VR will hit the Quest platform. This title was announced last year, but it's finally getting a proper release. The developers, another reality, says it's made for aspiring pros, fitness fanatics, and casual Joes, so it kind of covers everyone with both offline solo and online multiplayer experiences. The very in-depth complex tennis system implemented here allows for more realistic slicing, spins, lobs to simulate a real game of tennis for all skill levels. It also has character customization, unlockables, stylish courts, an academy so you can perfect and learn techniques and an arcade mode they're calling Rush, which they've said is tennis meets tower defense, which sounds like a, a pretty decent time killer. There is also actually a demo available for this on App Lab, so check out SideQuest or I'll link it down below in the description so you can try before you buy. You can't really go wrong. A huge update now that could make the Quest Pro a viable PC VR headset over the use of the up and coming Quest 3 or a Quest 2. I've had the Pro for a while now and there's been very little for me to recommend it to people. But this could spell out a future where over the next year or the next two years, it could be viable for PC VR. So what's happening is the OpenXR Toolkit have added eye tracked foveated rendering support for the MetaQuest Pro. OpenXR Toolkit for OpenXR development, which defines a standard of interoperability across devices, which put simply means an OpenXR title theoretically can be played on any OpenXR supported device, removing the pains of exclusivity on many games and of course porting to different platforms. So this would mean support for dynamic foveated rendering on our PC VR titles when using a Quest Pro device. So that would allow us to get more out of our PC setups that were previously struggling, or if you've got a decent setup, even achieve higher clarity in our experiences by making where we are looking higher quality, but reducing the surrounding area to a lower resolution. With current setups, this foveated rendering is fixed in the center because you don't know where the user is looking. There's no eye tracking, but the Quest Pro actually enables this. So for this to work, you will need to use the Air Link or the Oculus Link setup as virtual desktop does not support eye tracking pass-through. But knowing Guy Godin, it's likely it won't take long unless there's some red tape from him implementing this because he's usually ahead of the curve on this stuff. So to enable this, open your Oculus app on your desktop, go to settings, then go to beta, then enable dev runtime features, and here you will see eye tracking over link. If you don't see this, update the software, enable the public test channel, it could be a versioning problem. So enable this and enjoy the eye track support of OpenXR experiences when you're able to play them through the Oculus app. Also, warning, Upload have stated that there is a bug with this for some users. You'll see a runtime exception, and if you get that, you're going to have to take the logs and contact Meta Support so they can fix this for you. Bit annoying if you get it, hopefully you don't. This is such good news for PC VR, especially when there's a new generation of headsets coming out and hopefully premium models are also going to have eye tracking as well, not just the pro headset, but it yeah, definitely gives those that spent all of that money early on a feature to look forward to, but also the Quest Pro now is reduced to a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars. So a, 
Uh, another reason to potentially get one as well if you don't like what the up and coming headsets are offering. And speaking of price reductions, the MetaQuest 2 is actually on sale right now for another £50 off with the inclusion of Golf Plus and Space Pirate Trainer. So roughly around £100 saved on this purchase. Likely trying to get as many headsets out as they can before they release or announce the Quest 3. So it's hard to recommend this device knowing how cutthroat Meta can be because when they dropped a new device when the Quest 1 was out, they released a better and cheaper headset a month after people just bought the Quest 1. So my recommendation would would be to wait but if you are buying for someone a birthday is coming up the quest 2 is going to have continued support for a while because it is the most popular and supported device so it would be a bargain to grab it now and i'm not convinced the quest 3 is going to be as cheap as this device either just want to touch on something because the goat has spoken that's why he's the goat karma is back with insults and vision as he mentioned what he sees for vr during a bosworth podcast Bosworth asked him, your vision for Quest hardware has always been light, cheap and fast. But if you had to pick one vector to push on our future VR hardware, what would it be? Carmack response was like, bruh. I'm not answering one vector of improvement. I have many. And he, well, he didn't say that, he, he implied it. So to touch on a few things that he mentioned to improve with VR, what Meta should do, and the first of which is the Guardian setup. This should be instant. You should put on your headset and you're ready to go. None of this setup, none of this faff. This is a barrier to entry for many people. When you use your phone, you don't have to do any setup, do you? He also showed frustration that the early adopters, many of us, have loads of tech already and VR is capable of actually replacing it. We don't need a Chromebook, we can add a keyboard. We don't need a TV, we've got an iMac screen in front of us. We don't need a tablet because we can support Android apps. But the company, Meta, is not pushing these areas to replace existing devices and streamline people's experiences, which would cause people to have higher attention with their VR devices, but they're ignoring this. So Carmack is not keen on how Meta are handling this platform, as per usual. <laughs> Hopefully they listen to him because recent history shows that they don't listen to what Carmack thinks. I'm talking about Echo. There is a new game here. It looks like Joy went back to a old game of theirs that they were pushing that I will not name and shame, but it just didn't go well. The response wasn't great. The feedback wasn't great. And it was redesigned, changed some new mechanics, and it took it in a new direction with some viscery. So I'm taking a minute to applaud Joyway here. <laughs> Not often you see companies listen as intensely as they do to the community. There are other companies, but Joyway are definitely one of the standouts for me in that area. They announced a trailer for Dead Hook, which plays with some really heavy riffs to give it a great Doom-like feel. lava, has gore, multiple levels with a grappling hook, dual wielding weaponry, dashing, just pure carnage. I do see inspiration from their previous work here for sure, but my goodness, does this look so much better and appeal to me. This is a roguelike experience that will allow for weapon and character customization and offer a story narrative as well to give you some purpose within the game, which I, I don't know what, how you play, but I, I often need a purpose. I love the narrative. Just something simple to, to ground me in that world. So keep an eye on this one. I hope it delivers because I really do like the look of it. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Please consider subscribing to help me share the love of VR. And hopefully I will see you next time. Please join the Discord. There's often giveaways every time I release a video. Have a great week. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.